Hey yo, what's up? Baji here, and we are back with Dive into Dreamcatcher episode 10. So today we're going to be checking out Dreamcatcher's Endless Night MV as well as their dance practice. And I believe this is another Japanese release. So uh yeah. <laughs> well, aside from that, I don't really know much uh about the MV, but let's get right to it and we'll see what we're in for. So here we go. Ooh. Oh. That guitar just hits you right away. And so there's so many colors in the background. Okay, we slowed way down in the verse. I wasn't expecting that with that intro. Ooh. Okay. We're getting into the setup. Okay. This actually sounds like a like an anime OST track. <laughs> like more so than a lot of the other previous releases. It's probably the the electronic piano synth. Ooh. I'm loving that Miss Flow here. And there's something about the verse that's just really lifts your spirits up. Oh. The chorus as well, actually. Yeah, it's very uplifting, very inspiring sounding. And I'm really loving how colorful this MV is. Also, I forgot to mention. Jiu is really rocking that blue hair. Yeah, there are a lot of colors popping out in this MV. Getting faster drum beat. Whoa, love that riff at the end. Okay, so that was the Endless Night MV. So, first, let's talk about the MV actually. So, it seems like, uh, yeah, uh, like, first of all, I mentioned the uh, couple of times throughout uh, their action already. The MV is very colorful. Um, and something that I noticed, like, uh, you still know that, like, uh, sorry, 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 that Peter face. Like, even though there's a lot of light, there's a lot of color in this MV, you still know that the setting is Nighttime. Well, particu more more particularly because they're mostly indoors. But actually, you wouldn't get that from being indoors. Um, 
but you do have this feel to the MV that it is set in nighttime, which is uh you know very much the setting where Dreamcatcher thrives in, right? With the with the whole with their whole concept. And and so uh to have that nuance is just uh really interesting to see that uh you can make a a vibrant colorful uh video filled with lots of uh different uh lights and stuff and still get that feeling of it's nighttime i don't know how else to explain it uh yeah and music wise yeah this sounded more anime-ish than more so than previous dreamcatcher releases um particularly because of the mixing of the instrumentals i'm not quite sure if it really is a like electronic synth piano or if it's like uh softened synth sounds from a guitar could go either way but yeah, that 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 sort of uh sort uh sort of like soft string sound that you usually mostly get from digital music and I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on musical instruments, but but yeah, it, it sounds like uh like soft strings, if that makes any sense. Right? And whether it's a piano or a guitar, couldn't quite tell, but the soft stringiness of the instrumentals kinda sounds like most instrumental tracks that you'd find in an anime OST. And yeah, like Like I could have sworn that I I've, I've heard this from an actual anime I watched. I'm I'm not sure. But yeah, it really sounds like that. And I love the that the song itself is very vibrant as well. Very up tempo, but not just up tempo, but uh uplifting in terms of the the tone of the song and the message of the song if i'm reading the lyrics correctly and uh you just get this nice feeling of optimism uh unless i'm horribly misinterpreting the lyrics but this sounds like a really really optimistic song and you can't help but feel uh good vibes when listening to it and so yeah, that's uh, that's what strikes me most in the music of uh, Endless Night. Anyways, uh, let's get right to the next part and check out the choreography with the dance practice video for Endless Night. Here we go. Ooh. Oh! Are they gonna do this one by one? Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Sion didn't even speak. She just basically swagged her way through. I love dance practice videos that start off like that. Showing off the fun side of the members. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they get right into it. Oh. 
they're really get uh, going into overdrive for this intro, and then we get into the slowed down uh, first verse. <laughs> I love the roll around there. Okay. Ooh. I'm loving the energy here. Oh, I love that shuffling thing that Sion just did. Oh, Sion's knees just went crazy there. Okay, here we go. Sammy's rap part. Ooh. Oh, then we get into a kind of faster melody here. Yeah, I'm loving the energy of the chorus. Yeah, that shuffle by Sion going to the front. I don't know why it appeals to me so much. Ooh. Oh, wow. The split going down into the floor? Ooh. And there's the shuffle again. It just feels satisfying to watch, I guess. Oh, here we go. Even the ending. Very vibrant. Okay, so that was the dance practice of Endless Night. Um, I think the theme that I would kind of give that is like energy aside from like uh having a lot of energetic moves uh for most of the song uh barring the like you like actually even the slow parts they did have also some energetic moves during those th during those times but uh not just the energy that's like you can see from the sharp movements but also the energy that is radiating from the members like you can tell they really enjoy the song and uh, that they're really having fun with it and it, it is such a yeah such an upbeat bouncy song That is sure to lift like the spirits of anyone listening to it. And I, I would guess like that plays a part in the attitude that the members have while dancing to that song. And so yeah, uh that's that's probably the, the main thing that strikes me about the choreography. 
I loved a lot of the transitions, but really, the transition that gets me the most is when Sion transitions to the front in the chorus parts. Like, she, she just does this sort of shuffle thing, like jogging a bit to the front, little half, little half hop back, then going forward again. I'm really not sure why I like it so much, but I do. Uh, yeah, one explanation, like I mentioned earlier, is because it feels satisfying to watch. Although that might not be the whole reason. I guess I just really like transitions where uh, the members are kind of doing something instead of just, you know, like the usual either walking or half running transitions, that, you know, just to try to move into place. And so this one at least makes the effort to, uh, to do, you know, moves while transitioning. I also feel that that's not the whole reason I like it either. <laughs> it's just that I do. Uh, so yeah. This is just a lot of great fun. Uh, uh, the, the MV was fun for me for Endless Night. The choreography was fun for me. It's just... Uh, the one thing that this... I, I guess the main takeaway I have from everything we watched so far is this is a song that I really, really enjoy. Yeah, that's, that's the main uh, feeling that I get from this, that, just that profound sense of enjoyment. Anyways, I think that's it for my reaction to and uh, the endless uh, sorry to Dreamcatcher's Endless Night MV and dance practice. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free, with just a few extra bonus content reserved for those who are kind enough to subscribe. So just feel free to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description down below. Also, uh, uh, if any of you are, you know, are willing to probably help out with the current situation that I'm going through, uh, or you do want to know just a little bit more about it, uh, the relevant details and info are also in the description down below anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this a fun and vibrant journey with dreamcatcher and until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now